Oh. I, you know, I don't know if it's in the set app for iOS or not. I didn't even look at that. Well, it, it couldn't be unless you live in the EU. Oh, there you yep. go. Right? I mean, although, no, I guess that's that's not necessary. They have, like, they've figured out ways for some iOS apps to be in set app for us okay. not in the EU. So this is interesting. Have you used, do you, do you use Cloud Mounter, Pete? I, I do, yeah. The, uh, the problem is, for me, it, it, it depends how your brain pictures things. It's, it's easy to lose things <laughs> because you've got it all <laughs> mounted. You know, right. where exactly did I put it? So... Uh, if you use it, you need to use it all the time because you'll wind up, if you don't use it all the time, you'll put something in your Google Drive and then not realize, or, you know, wait, it's not on my... So, all right, so okay, go, Adam. We both I was going to ask, I, 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 I presume this is, it's mounting the cloud service. It looks like a mounted drive on yes. your desktop. Okay. Yes. And... Okay, so that 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 was probably going to be one of my questions. I'm, or if it wasn't, I'm glad you asked it, Adam. Um, but the question I have is: Do you have to? Uh, let me let me think about the right way to ask this. So you you install Cloud Mounter and right. connect it to your whatever Dropbox, right. Box. It, you know, I assume it supports Google Drive. You know, many different things, right? Yes. Do all you all your all your Mac all your cloud storage services? Right. So, supposedly. But yeah. if I were to use Cloud Mounter, do I then also need to install the Dropbox app for it to connect to Dropbox? Or or do you not have to use the Dropbox app? It just talks to Dropbox. That's a good question. I will try to get the answer for you before the end of the show. Okay. My, my guess is that it does not require you to run all of those apps. Right. I don't think it does. Yeah. That's, that's my recollection. So assuming that's true, and I really, I, like, I can't imagine it wouldn't be true. Right. Um, yeah, it, it is true. So yeah. what, what this means is you don't need to install, you get to run one app instead of six apps if you want to connect to six different cloud services. Right, right. And that's huge. What also might happen, and I want to, emphasize might because I don't know how cloud mounter is doing this, but I, I know that the way a lot of these things work, Dropbox on the free plan has a limit, I think of two or three devices, you know, clients connected simultaneously. I believe I know with other third party apps that third party apps don't count as one of your three. It's entirely uh, yeah. likely that Cloud Mounter also won't count as one of your three Dropbox. I, I bet it won't. And then yeah. just down at the bottom of comments there, uh, T. Andrew Kadic in YouTube mentioned that Cyberduck, which is a free FTP client, is good for mounting cloud services. 